Hi, hi, it's Mirzy, and welcome to the start of my winter campaign. So, this is the first time I've ever been to this lake. Just had a little walk round. It's quite a big lake. Um, I'm not going to give too much spe specifications, shall we say. Not at the minute, because, um, like I say, it's a new lake. Other people fish it. It's a syndicate, um, so it's on a ticket. Um, I don't want to start upsetting people, and if I find out stuff, I don't want to give it away too much. But yeah, this is it really. Absolutely stunning lake. I've walked around it, loads of swims. I don't think anyone else is fishing here today. Because um, it's so big and I've never been down here before, it's absolutely bogging with rain. So I've had a little walk around. Obviously you see them in the waterproofs, absolutely soaked. Um, yeah, I don't know where to start really at the minute, in all honesty. So I'm just standing at a swim, having a look out. I haven't got my cart barrel with me today. So, um, I sort of limited because the tracks are really filthy to get round the lake um, and I've got my van it's, it gets stuck and I don't want to be calling people out on my first time to uh, come and get me out of a sticky situation really but yeah I'm so looking forward to this I've been wanting to fish this place for a couple of years now and decided to take the plunge and uh, actually start doing a session on it so we're in October now it's late October and I've got around till about March I think it is the end of March beginning of April um, to actually pull a carp or two out of this lake. Now, it's a very low stock and it's a very hard lake. Um, some of you might know this lake, obviously when you see certain bits of the footage. Um, if you do, can you please not comment and say which lake it is, just out of respect for other people really. Um, if you do know which it is, and you can fish it, and you find out obviously where the fish are and that, then uh, yeah, it's happy days really. Because obviously people are going to see the lake and uh, know where it is. But that's where we're at in a minute. Like I say, I've just turned up about half hour ago. I've had a little run around, trying to have a little look at places. Um, yeah, um, I don't know where to start. I haven't seen anything yet. Like I say, I've only been here a couple of minutes, really, half hours, nothing. Um, this is my first session. I'm just doing a little day session because uh, work's been cancelled. Uh, I'm supposed to be doing some slabbing. Obviously, I can't do it in the rain, so I thought, why not jump down the lake that I paid for? Uh, have a look round, might get a rod out today, I'm not sure yet. I say it's uh, about 9, 10 o'clock in the morning. I've only got till about 4 this afternoon, so I haven't got much time whatsoever. And I'm not holding out to catch a cart today, to be honest. It's more of uh, having a look round, see if I can see anything, see if I can see any signs of where the cart might be holding up, because it's uh, in the winter. But what I'm thinking about doing is getting the old marker rod out, having a marker around in a couple of swims, seeing if I can find any good features, any uh, depths or anything like that. Uh, yeah, really. So it's a blank canvas for me. I've seen a couple of videos on YouTube and out of this lake and it is steep in carp history, this lake. Um, I don't want to go into too much detail because it will give it away straight away. Um, yeah, and that's where we're at really. So I'm literally just going to keep looking out, seeing what's going on. <coughs> Hopefully we see a couple of signs of the fish. And that might set me up for my next session, really. So, yeah, that's where we're at in a minute. I can't do too much recording because it's absolutely raining. And um, I've only got my phone. I always record on my phone. I don't, don't want to break it because I run my business through that as well. So, yeah, that's where we're at. I'm going to keep looking. I'm going to have a little walk around, get the marker rod out, have a little thing, see if I can see any features. Um, yeah, and we go from there, really. Speak to you all soon. All right, so why stop raining? I thought I'd quickly show you how I'm approaching this venue for the first time. Uh, like I said, I can't get around the whole lake with my van. It's quite a big lake um, because the tracks are absolutely filthy. I've already said that. Uh, I haven't got my car barra. You know, it's my own fault. So I'm sort of not putting the odds in my favour on this session. And like I say, it's my first session, only a day session. Really, it was more just to get a look at the lake and see what it's like, really. So what I've done is I've got a rod out there already. Just one rod, I've chucked it out there, how I normally fish on every other venue that I've fished. So I've just chucked that out there. Um, I won't go through the rigs and that just yet. If I catch, obviously I'll, I'll let you know a little bit. But yeah, so I've chucked that one out there. Hopefully that one goes off. And then while I'm sitting here, I'm gonna cast around the old lead, marker lead. Got the marker rod out with the braid on it. And uh, yeah, just trying to find spots in this swim. Um, anything that's deep, you know, like all the features underneath, to try and work it out a little bit while I'm sitting here with one rod out. So I've got one rod, um, 
So I've got one rod sort of out here in the middle somewhere and then over there I've just been marking up this area over here. Uh, very gravelly, uh, quite a bit of silt in there as well. I think there's a tiny bit of weed, nothing much to be honest. So it's um, chucking about here, there's, it's going to be quite presented most of the time. And um, yeah, and that's how I'm approaching the first venue, uh, first time at this venue, my first winter session. I know obviously it's not really ideal, really what I should have done is bought a cart bar and that and just keep walking the lake and find out. But I'm only here. I don't know, it could be one o'clock, two o'clock, so it's like five, six hours, very, very max. So, um, yeah, that's how I'm approaching my first day, just to get the feel for the lake, see what it's like. Um, yeah, and that, that's where we are at the minute. What I'm going to do is I'm going to make myself a cup of tea. I have bought my little stove and that with me today. I'm most probably going to chuck another rod out there, just sit back for a couple of hours. Well, put two rods out there, sit back and uh, just cast, do a bit of markering up, really. Um, yeah, that's how I'm approaching my first session. Let's so hope you never know, we could have something, eh? Well, I've got two rods out there in a minute. Got a bit of marker around, chucked a little bit of bait out. Still blowing a gale, it's quite rainy, so I've resulted to not setting the bivvy up and just cooking, well, making a cup of tea inside the van, really, at the minute. Um, still got the waterproofs on. Had a couple of little beeps, but I think it's just the wind. Yeah, that's where we're at. Come on. People say, Dan, you must be crazy fishing in the rain. My answer, you must be crazy working in the rain. Well, that's it, I'm here four hours into the session so far, and I've just changed swims. Got a bit closer to the island, because I was miles away from it, and uh, it's looking quite carpy around there, to be honest with you. It was a bit uh, hit and miss getting around here with the old van, you know, slipping and sliding over the mud, and. Oh yeah, I was a little bit panicky to be honest with you. Um, but nevertheless, we got round here. It's about half two now. Got a few hours left. Both rods are back out there. Um, not got much bait out. I say, um, been told today uh, by someone who knows a little bit about this lake that apparently there's around 25 carp in here, and it's got to be a good 20 acres this lake. So yeah, um, it's definitely a good challenge for me. But, I'm always up for a challenge and this is what I wanted really, this is why I got onto this ticket so I could uh, have a bit of an harder challenge rather than fishing the day tickets even though some of them are very challenging, this is just like up another level and uh, by the looks of it I don't know if you can see but I can't zoom in because my camera's a bit knackered at the minute and um, I've already got coots diving over my spot but I've only chucked about five boilies out and um, absolutely tons of wildlife birds and everything on this lake. Um, all adds to the challenge and to the fun. Uh, yeah, enjoying it so far. Like I say, it's only my first session, trying to suss it out a little bit. Um, definitely going to be coming back down here and trying and trying and trying until uh, I pull one of these old English carp out. Because I want to add one of them to my pictures. Uh, yeah, I can't wait to be honest. But yeah, that's it. That's where I'm at at a minute. Got a few hours left. It's about half two at the moment. And just really spending my time sitting on the seat in the rain, looking out hopefully see a sign of a carp ready for the next time I get down here so uh, yeah that's where we're at in a minute I'll keep you posted well that's it just about to pack up now haven't had a dicky bird all day um, didn't expect much to be honest on my first session on this venue because it is a low stock but I'll definitely be back here again can't wait till the next time good luck to everyone fishing and I'll speak to you all soon peace out